Hello everybody, welcome to this week's episode of Apple Lover Productions. Today I'm going to be doing a review of the Mac X DVD Ripper Pro. So yeah, um, Max X uh, DVD Ripper Pro actually sent me, uh, or they emailed me and they asked me, hey, do you want to do a review on this? We looked at your videos, whatever. So I'm like, oh yeah, sure, of course, I'll take a free software and I'll do a review on it. So they want me to do it. Um, so here is my review of it. Today, I'm going to be showing you guys how this <clears throat> uh, works. It is about $30, I do believe, or so, to $50 um, on their website. Um, I will put a link down below if you guys want to um, go check them out and go try this DVD ripper. It's super easy to use um, and it's really great and they uh, were nice enough to give me a free copy of this to review on my channel so um, here it is. I'm going to be um, actually ripping the Spy Kids movie. Um, I did get it for free from Kellogg's a long time ago when they used to give out DVDs um, on in cereal boxes um, but yeah it's pretty old and uh, I'm just doing this for educational purposes only. I will not be distributing this or anything. I will <laughs> whoops actually be uh throwing not throwing away but deleting and putting in the trash um the ripped copy just 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 for education purposes only and now no illegalness is happening i just need to go grab this dvd so i'm going to rip this dvd so the first thing you're going to want to do is uh, actually insert your dvd that you are ripping uh you can really insert various uh dvds and it's super simple it says click dvd button to load dvd it if you are on a mac obviously this is a mac ripper um it's gonna <sighs> probably open up um, the uh, DVD player automatically which um, you can always force quit because it is uh, I don't like how it opens up but um, you can change yeah so you just click click uh, the DVD button to load the DVD and it ch there we go, there's a DVD player um, and then it says choose one input uh, format and you can choose the destination and then click run so we're gonna choose DVD, uh, select disc, so there's only one disc Spy Kids on there, or you can choose a DVD folder, I don't know why you'd want to, but yes, and then click OK, so it's going to detect the DVD, it's going to load the DVD, it's going to analyze it, so just checking if it is liable, by the way, I'm going to do a few jump cuts and junk, uh, junk uh, and stuff, just um, so I can tell you guys um, how... Uh, just so you guys aren't waiting for however long this takes. Um, so it's going to ask you what format you want to use. I'm just going to choose MP4 because I like to use MP4 and it's usually small. I'm going to go actually the fastest, so just large, just because for the sake of the video, I don't really don't want to be waiting here for so long just for a video to rip. But obviously, if you are interested in doing a more high quality video, you can choose the high quality over here as uh, on like M MOV or whatever format you really want to use. Um, so I'm going to go the fastest. And I click done, and then once it does this, I am just going to let it run. So I just click run, and then it's going to rip basically this whole DVD. So it says uh, it's gonna take, yeah, it just goes up because it's gonna take a little bit, um, but it will do this. But once it is done, I will not touch anything else um, until it's done, and once it is done, I will get to you guys after that. Okay, so it has been about 20 to 30 minutes, I'd assume. Um, that uh, it has taken and um, it is actually done and it actually um, opened up uh, sorry it actually opened up a uh, finder for me so we're gonna go check. here we go Mac video library so you can actually locate this in uh, uh, movies um, and yeah so it should be right here I'm not gonna actually see because it's 600 megabytes it is not too big um, it's better than handbrake because handbrake usually makes them about 1.5 gigabytes or so um, so yeah, this is the DVD, and I don't really want to play much because I don't really want to get in trouble for that. But yes, it does work because it does show the thumbnail. That means the video has processed. And so yeah, basically this is amazing uh, Mac DVD ripper. I definitely recommend you guys to go check this out, especially if you guys like going on vacations and you just want your all your DVDs portable and all your most of your DVDs are um uh from most of your DVDs um. You have most DVDs as opposed to iTunes or something. So if you guys want to watch all your old favorite um, videos, you guys can go do this. below to go buy this. Super easy to use, super fast, and just great if you guys travel a lot or you just want all your DVDs portable. Um, perfect for those kind of situations. So thank you guys for watching this episode of Apple Over Productions. Definitely think you guys should check this out. Um, if you do, comment below and uh, um, and say, oh, I got this, whatever, or you really want it or something. So I can see um, which of you guys want it. So I will see you guys next week um, on next week's episode of Apple Lover Productions.